Have you ever wanted to learn to hack? Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at one of the easiest and the quickest ways that you can get hands-on ethical hacking training. Best of all, you can get started for absolutely free. Hacking, penetration testing, whatever name you want to give it, is the art of getting a computer to do something that it wasn't necessarily designed to do. It's a topic that a lot of people get interested in, and that's myself included. When I first started dabbling in the world of computer hacking, I used something called Backtrack, which was a hacking operating system long before Kali Linux was around. The problem I had was I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, and I had to rely on the usually outdated tutorials found on questionable looking websites. I quickly gave up the dream of becoming a computer hacker because I just kept getting stuck and I couldn't find the help that I needed. Fast forward to today and the world is a much different place. The art of ethical hacking has become more popular and access to professional quality training has become much more accessible and affordable. One of the best places to learn ethical hacking and the sponsor of this video is a company called Hack the Box. If you've been in the security industry for any amount of time, you probably have heard of Hack the Box. They provide a place where you can get started trying to hack into computer systems in a safe and importantly, a legal way. It's really simple to use and everything is gamified, which keeps everything fun, interesting, and most of all, keeps you motivated. You can sign up for free and start trying to hack your way into system computers straight away. Unless you know what you're doing though, you'll probably end up like me all of those years ago, getting stuck and eventually giving up. For exactly that reason, Hack the Box built their own training academy. Here you can get real hands-on training that will take you from almost zero to hacking into machines in no time at all. It's completely browser-based and you can get started for absolutely free. This is what we're gonna be focusing on today. So let's dive into Hack the Box Academy and I'll show you how it all works. Before we do anything, we need to create an account. Use the link below in the description or browse to certbros.com forward slash HTB Academy. Once signed up, you'll be greeted with this dashboard. The first thing you'll notice is across the top, we have these three categories. The training is split into offensive, defensive, and general training topics. And these give us a quick way to tell us how much training we've completed and how much training is left. Below this, we have the to-do list. Now this will show you all of our saved training so we can easily pick up where we left off. On the right, we can see our completed training modules, paths, and we can also see our subscription plan. Okay, so on the left is where the real action happens. Here we have exams, modules, and paths. We'll talk more about paths and exams in just a moment, but first I want to show you the modules. So if I select the modules, then select all modules. Here we can see all of the incredible training that is available to us. Training such as password attacks, WordPress hacking, network enumeration, and the list goes on. If I scroll back up, we'll see some filters across the top. So on the left is where we can filter by skill level, ranging from fundamentals all the way to much more difficult modules, which means they have something for everyone. On the right-hand side, we can see our categories, so offensive, defensive, and general. And in the middle, we see something called tiers. As I'm sure you can probably guess, not all of these training modules are free. They're all priced in tiers. If I click tier zero, this will show you all of the free training that is available. At the time of making this video, there are 18 free modules ranging from introductions, Linux and Windows fundamentals, and even things like stack-based buffer overflows and SQL injection. Hack the Box Academy uses cubes as a type of currency. When you sign up, you are given 33 cubes, and you can see that under your name in the top left. Now to unlock these modules, you can see it costs us 10 cubes. Remember though, these are free modules. So once we complete them, the cubes are rewarded back to us. If you want to take it to the next level, you have the option to purchase cubes and unlock the higher tier modules. I'll talk more about pricing options in just a moment, 
But first, let me show you one of these modules. So once you sign up, the very first module that you'll want to go through is the Intro to Academy module, just here. So I'll click Start and we're in to the module. Here we can see the content on the left, a table of contents on the right, and underneath that, the virtual workstation. Now I don't want to spend too much time covering this module because I strongly encourage you to do this for yourself, but I will cover the core concepts. So this first section is telling you all about how the academy is structured, and it works like this. At the top of the hierarchy, we have paths. There are two types of paths. The first one is a skill path. A skill path aims to train you on a specific skill, such as local privilege escalation and active directory enumeration. The second type is a job path. Now a job path aims to provide you with all of the relevant training for a specific job, such as junior pen tester or bug bounty hunter. Each path is made up of specific modules for the path that you have chosen. It's worth noting that all modules can be accessed individually. The paths just give you some direction. Finally, within each module, you'll have module sections. So if we go back to my computer, we're actually in a module section right now. Once you've been through the section, you need to complete it at the bottom. So if we scroll down and hit mark, complete and next. This next bit talks more about the section layout. And again, we'll complete this down at the bottom. Now, some sections will require you to answer a question in order to complete it. This acts as a knowledge check and it will reward you with cubes when you answer correctly. So this question simply asks, what is the name of the first section of this module? We can see this in the table of contents on the right. The first section is called introduction. So we simply click into here and type introduction and then hit submit. We can see the green message meaning is right and we can click mark, complete and next. Now this next section is where you start to see the fun stuff. Here we're looking at the in-browser virtual machines. So it's asking us to start the instance, then locate a bash terminal and then use the command uname a. And if we scroll down, we can start the instance by hitting the start instance button. And if we keep scrolling, we'll see it asks us a question. The question is, based on the commands you executed, what is likely to be the operating system flavor for this instance? So our instance has started and we need to find the operating system flavor. Now, one thing I didn't mention is we do have a hint button down here at the bottom. If I click that, is going to give us a hint to the answer of the question. So this time it says it is a name of a bird. So let's go back to our instance and it is a little bit small here. So what we can do is click full screen and it's going to open up into a new tab. Now remember we need to open up bash, which is this icon at the top here. And the command they want us to run is uname a and press enter. Remember, we're looking for the name of a bird and it doesn't take us long before we can see parrot is written here. So that's probably our answer. So if I go back to our tab, scroll back down to our question and type parrot, hit submit. And yes, that was the correct answer. Now, by the way, if you're not familiar with Linux, don't worry because Hack the Box Academy as an intro to Linux module. Of course, not all questions will be this simple. Now let's click Mark, Complete and Next. So now we know how to start our attacker machine, but now we need targets to hack, right? Well, this next section covers all about targets. Hack the Box has two different targets, Docker and virtual machines. This section will talk you through the different types. Now, if we scroll down towards the bottom, the question says, what is the proof text displayed in the target website you browsed? 
So before we do anything, we need to spin up our target. And to do that, we click the spawn target button. Very quickly, we have an IP address and we can simply click on it to copy it, open up a new tab, paste that in, enter, and we can see the proof text just here. So we'll copy that, copy, pop that over to our answers, paste, hit the submit button, and again, success confirmation and mark and complete. This section is very important. It talks all about the modules and the cube currency system. The tier zero modules are completely free. The only catch is you need to complete the modules to be rewarded back the 10 cubes it costs to unlock them, which is a great little incentive to make sure that you're following through with the training. From tier one and above, you will need to purchase cubes to unlock these modules. Tier one modules cost 50 cubes. Tier two costs 100. Tier three costs 500. And tier five costs 1000. Again, as an incentive, you will receive back 20% of the cubes on completion of the module. Let's scroll down and complete this section. And this section will tell you a bit more about the paths. Again, I'm just gonna complete this. And then we have the conclusion marking the end of the module. Once we scroll down and hit the finish button, we're given a nice little congratulations and the options to share this on social media, which I definitely recommend that you do. For now though, let's just close this. So now we've finished a module, let me show you how we can purchase extra cubes if we want to take our training to that next level. At the top right, we can click the purchase cube button. So Hack the Box has three ways that you can purchase cubes. There is a yearly plan, monthly plans, or you can purchase cubes as you go. The yearly plan is gonna give you access to all of the modules up to and including tier two. It's also gonna give you direct access to the bug bounty hunter job path. Lastly, you're gonna get an exam voucher to take the certified bug bounty hunter exam. So if you're looking to become a bug bounty hunter or a web application penetration tester, this is probably the plan for you. Next, we have the monthly plans. Now, if you're a student, it's an absolute no brainer in my opinion. For six pounds, which is about $8 a month, you get access to all of the modules up to and including tier two. If you're not a student, you can use the monthly plans to keep giving you cubes. Silver will give you 200 cubes each month. Gold will give you 500 each month and platinum will give you a thousand cubes each month. Now, if you'd rather purchase cubes as a one-off payment, then you can scroll down to the bottom and this is where you can buy cubes as you go. As you can see, you can also purchase exam vouchers. So Hack the Box has now started offering their own certifications and this is the last thing that I wanted to talk to you about. So if we scroll back up to the top and click exams on the left, here we can see the available certification exams from Hack the Box. Hack the Box are now much more than a training provider. They're now providing hands-on industry certifications to prove everything that you've learned on the platform. A really nice touch from Hack the Box is that every exam voucher will actually give you two exam attempts. This way, if you fail the first exam, you can retake it at no extra charge. At the moment, there is only one available certification, which is the Certified Bug Bounty Hunter. I am told though that they will be adding new certifications in the very near future. By the way, if you're not sure what a Bug Bounty Hunter is, it's where you go out looking for bugs or security flaws in a website and then report these to the owner of that site. If the bug is serious enough, you may be issued a payment or a bounty. These vary in size, but at the high end, they can be upwards of tens of thousands. It's worth noting, of course, that this should be only done under the strict instructions of the site owner. Otherwise, you may find yourself in some legal trouble. So if you're interested in becoming a bug bounty hunter or a web application penetration tester, 
this could well be the exam for you. So that's Hack the Box Academy, a really fun and effective way to start ethical hacking. I'll be covering a lot more content from Hack the Box, so make sure that you sign up so you can follow along. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. The support from you guys really helps this channel grow. Other than that, thank you for watching.